Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. So there are certain things we must always expect here. Number one, encounters. Koinonia has been designed by God. Our ministry to the body is to create a platform for people to have dramatic encounters with God. An encounter is an experience that makes a person real. When you meet me, you can say you have had an encounter. Because in meeting me, you will have the opportunity to have a closer look. You will talk with me. You will be able to interact with me. You will be able to understand my ideology. This is what an encounter is. So through the, the ministrations, through the worship, through the testimonies, and everything that we do, we seek to stimulate an atmosphere that brings encounters in the lives of people. It is my personal opinion that you are not a Christian if you have not encountered God. It doesn't matter how long you have been to church. If you have not had a personal encounter. We used to say it before. Now preachers don't say it. They just say, do you know God? And we know that God means everything to people. God is a bottle of minerals somewhere. God is a shrine somewhere. An encounter. They call it a personal encounter encounter you can have a corporate encounter but everyone needs a personal encounter an experience that makes jesus real to you an experience that makes the life of god real to you there's no hope of turning back after an encounter it's not about trying it is impossible to want to opt to go back an encounter very important hallelujah number two the second thing that we represent to the body is a platform where an understanding of the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom is received. It is important to know that God has committed unto us the message of the kingdom. The message of the kingdom is the understanding of the principles of the kingdom that seeks to reveal to the believer his responsibility, the part he has to play as far as experientially enthroning Lord is concerned and then extending the influence of his reign. We have that assignment to be able to make men see, to bring people to an understanding where they understand that um, if we are to command victory in life, it will be on the strength of the mysteries, the principles of the kingdom. So this is a place of understanding. That's why you never hear people tell you oh, stories, stories here and there. We are concerned about you having the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. That is the only basis for a victorious life. Emotions don't produce victory. Listen, listen. Emotions don't produce victory. There are so many emotional things happening in the body of Christ. People cry, they jump, and, and, and I'm not against all these things except for the fact that if they do not have life applicable kingdom founded principles, they are not going to produce results in the lives of people. And you know, 
the system of God is such that after a period of God investing in your life, you will expect fruits. He came and saw the fig tree and cursed it. Why? Because it could not produce. So if you claim to have been around the things of God at a point in your life, there should be evidences. Evidences. Something should start working. Everything cannot go bad. If everything is bad in your life, then something must be wrong. And you must seek to find out, not look for who to blame. You see that? Because that's what we do. We look for someone to blame. We look for demons to blame. And sometimes they are guilty, but not all the time. We look for parents to blame. We look for government to blame. In this place, we cultivate the spirit of responsibility. That if anything will ever change in your life, it's up to God and you. Not God alone, not you alone. So koinonia comes as the word that defines that experience. Partnership. It takes partnership between God and man for anything notable to happen. We're very responsible people. We believe that my destiny and your destiny is not just in the hands of God to decide. Uh -uh. We have a role to play and that our assignment as individuals and as a people is to make sure that we are hands on on our own part of the partnership. Because the problem is usually from us, never from him. You've been faithful, Lord, through the ages past always faithful that is why your name is forever that means if my life is not moving forward listen if my life is not moving forward i will be stupid to blame god are we together i must understand that god his name is faithful it's not an attribute he has the bible calls him in revelations faithful and true there is no shadow of turning in him so if anything is wrong in my life, things are not working, I'm not reflecting the reality of the word of God. I must with all meekness take responsibility and say, look, there is something I do not know or there is something I have not understood. There is something I have not believed. The moment you assume the position of responsibility, you are ready for divine help. God will never come and stretch his hands towards a people who are not ready to take responsibility. Are we together? The third thing that God has anointed and assigned us to do is the ministry of signs and wonders. Listen, you must understand that the ministry of signs and wonders is way beyond the ministry of miracles. The ministry of miracles is largely limited to bodies and all of the signs and wonders um, are supernatural occurrences that challenge the belief systems of men and cause them to see the sovereignty of God displayed in the midst of the people. That's why you see certain things. They are not necessarily miracles. You understand? Someone can be shouting outside. I can tell you two people are going to shout right now. That's not a miracle. That's a sign and a wonder. Are we together now? Yeah. All of a sudden, supernatural occurrences begin to happen. All kinds of strange demonstrations of the spirit. I can be saying God is giving you speed and then you see people start running physically. Why are they acting out those things? It's a ministry of signs and wonders. When you understand this, when you bring someone for the first time and the person is, are you sure this guy is not a herbalist? You tell him, no, 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 no. This is part of the call. There is an anointing for signs and wonders. Very few people on earth have it. Many people have the anointing for miracles. But not signs and wonders. He says, I will show signs in the heavens and wonders blood fire and smoke these are three mysteries i will show signs in the heaven prophet joel told us that is part of what comes with the outpouring of the spirit so aside from healing miracles aside from deliverances and all of that signs and wonders meaning that when you come for koinonia you expect the limitless dimensions of the holy spirit demonstrated without restraint anything can happen i can be talking and all of a sudden, someone is shouting. And if you do not know that is part of the package here, you may be afraid. But when you know, when you hear someone shouting, instead of looking and saying, I hope this guy is not lying, you just say, God is here. And he's here for me too. You see that? Yeah. Very important. When you understand these things, 
There are other auxiliary assignments, of course. The blessings of the kingdom, financial prosperity, the wealth of the kingdom, and so on and so forth. Everything God has sent me to do, everything God has sent us as a ministry to do, we are unapologetic about it. Why am I saying this? That means if I claim to be sent by God, and if I claim to be teaching you, and you are participating in what I am saying, it means if you are not changing to become what I claim God has asked me to do, something about my call and election must be questionable. If I claim God has called me to heal the sick, and I pray for 100 people and not one person gets healed, I need to go back to God and say, Lord, something is wrong somewhere. Transformed lives are the, like the trophies. The Bible calls them the seals of apostleship. Right? So that you look at your life and say, my God, look at what God has done in my life. I came and I met Jesus. My life has changed. So he releases the anointing that is responsible to produce that result. That's why many of us are gathered. That's why the testimonies are here. And tonight will be no different in the name of Jesus. You will always learn something when you come to the presence of God. I'm, I'm, the goal here is not to make you aware. You must understand that beyond the words you are hearing, there is an anointing that backs it up. That anointing is what empowers you to perform. Otherwise, all I'm giving you is a lecture. It's an intelligent lecture. Because some of the things that I'm communicating, some of them are products of researches. The research does not have an anointing in itself. It just has information. But when that research is taken in the place of prayer, something comes upon it. It's no longer a lecture note. Are you seeing now? So when I'm speaking to you, ordinarily, you would not have believed what I'm saying. But there is an anointing upon it that compels you not only to believe, but receive the grace and you will stand up and receive and reproduce the result. Listen, let me tell you. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The ministry of transformation is a system you must understand. If you are in this place and you are called into ministry, whether you have started or not, pay attention. Get ready for empty pews if you don't understand the technology that transforms men. People will hype you and you will be excited for a few months waiting for the next person who will open church near you and they will all move there and leave you because they are tired of your stillness. There's got to be something that brings freshness to people. Are we together now? When a businessman comes to Koinonia, he must find a dimension of the kingdom that can minister to him. When a student comes, he must find a dimension of the kingdom that can minister. So, when our little children, our little ones, as small as they are, they must be able to find a dimension of the kingdom that can minister to them. Failure to do that, we are not in ministry. We are just acting on stage. Hallelujah. And this comes with a price. Prayer is only one of the price. It comes with diligence. That's why I challenge a lot of people, especially those who want to go into ministry. You know, most people think ministry is a lazy man's work. When you don't get a job, you know, they didn't give you employment all around, you just quietly go and start ministry. No, ministry is not for lazy people. Ministry is for diligent people. The, the hours it takes to prepare just a simple message that you deliver in, 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 in one hour or so. And now we, we live in a, a technology driven society. You mention one Greek word, you are lying about it, someone is checking right away and telling his name. He said, No, no, no. It was 1997, this word. It was a mistake. He will even say the article where you got it wrong. It takes intelligence, not just spirituality. You should not just say something, you must have something to say. Everybody is saying something. People don't listen to talkatives again. So on one side, you are contending for the power, the grace, and the anointing. But on the other side, you must give people information that is worth their time. Nobody has time to waste listening to junks and nonsense. You can impress yourself as a man of God and flatter yourself together with your workers. And then people just watch you and pity you for a few months. And finally reveal to you how much you are not blessing them by their absence in your meeting. You should miss koinonia and feel it. That's a sign that you are receiving something. That if for any reason, because of your busy schedule or travel or trip or whatever, you miss koinonia. 
There are thousands of people, close to 100,000 people, connecting from different parts of the world, online right now, listening to me as I'm speaking. Why? Some of them are unable to make it. That's a blessing. The moment our teaching is uploaded online, in 24 hours, there's 1 million downloads. In 24 hours, transformation. Somebody somewhere is depending on that truth. Are we together now? I'd like you to pray just one prayer before I continue. And say, Lord, make my life valuable. Let me be a blessing. Open your mouth and pray, please. You brought me to the earth for a reason. Lord, I don't want to live a mediocre life. The dimension of diligence it will take. The dimension of consistency it will take. To emerge triumphant. Grant me the grace. Go ahead and pray. Challenge laziness. Challenge unseriousness. Challenge mediocrity. Challenge playing around and wasting your time. The labor dimension of a successful life. The labor dimension of an impactful life. You must cry for it from heaven. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live. I live to praise your name. I have no fear. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is ministering one more prayer point for me that we will pray. I'd like you to pray for the next one minute with all your heart and say, Lord, there is a faulty understanding in my life that is keeping me down. That is limiting the ministry of the Holy Spirit in my life. It may have come through culture. It may have come through my pain. I cry to the heavens. Give me a visitation. I declare my disloyalty to any mindset. I declare my disloyalty to any ideology. Any thinking that is not consistent with the word of God. Any thinking that is not consistent with the ways of the kingdom. Any thought pattern that is not grounded and rooted upon the working knowledge of the word. No matter how long I have sustained that knowledge. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. I may be Igbo, I may be Yoruba, I may be Hausa, I may be whatever nation, whatever locality around the world. I insist in the name of Jesus that my mind conforms to the patterns of the kingdom. There's so much the Holy Spirit wants to do in and through my life. Something about my life is the reason why I'm poor. Something about my, my life, my mindset is the reason why the anointing cannot flow freely. There's a reason why my church is not growing. There's a reason why my life is grounded. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. No blaming parents, no blaming government, no blaming neighbors, no blaming anyone. I take full responsibility over my destiny and I declare my willingness to change. That as the word of God comes, I receive it. I don't argue with what works. Hallelujah. Please sit down. The Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. I say it all the time. This thing we are trying to get to has been, is a destination that someone is currently there. Your future is someone's present already. The dimension you seek to enter in the anointing, there is a living person on earth walking in it. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many. 
who have crossed that river before. I like this part of this song. That's the only part I'm interested in. We may be few who are serious about this. But the Bible says, I mean, don't mind, really, not the Bible. It says we are surrounded. No, no. In fact, the Bible even says it. It says we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Witnesses. Men who have done it before. They grew up from poor families. And they caused them that you will not make it. But they accessed a mystery. And they rose beyond that dimension. They went to school with no one to pay their school fees. Only a box. But a dimension of God bailed them out. Time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. He said, men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Wrought righteousness. It's not new. You are not the first to do it. Women who were barren declared that they did not have womb, but they accessed a mystery in the kingdom that gave them womb, and they gave birth to twins and triplets. You are not the first. Don't mourn as if there's no hope. There is hope. But the hope is in a dimension of the word of God you catch. Not every part of the word of God is responsible for your answer. Your answer is somewhere. Your assignment is to search it out or listen to those who have searched it out. You don't argue when you don't yet have results. It's pride. Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, you only criticize a man who you have done twice what he has not done once. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. For my life and destiny, I hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. No matter what I'm going through today, Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, sing it with faith in your heart. I look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh. Yahweh. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29, 11. It says they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future an unexpected end surely said there is an end and an expectation someone needs to prophesy this there is an end this hunger will not be forever i i no no i may not have an anointing now but there is an end there is a day i will access a deep fountain of grace that the nations will see the hand of god upon my life my child may not be making it now but i tell you brothers and sisters there is an end prophesy it in one minute I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Pray, my hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, I look to Yahweh. My eyes are upon you, Jesus. They may criticize you, but fix your eyes on Jesus. They may not understand why you are this passionate. Fix your eyes, not on the mockers. Fix your eyes, not on the problem. Fix your eyes, not on the limitation. It says looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher. Come on, sing. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. This is already a word for someone tonight, even before we start. Though weeping endures for a night, my Bible, your Bible, says joy comes. Don't allow little hindrances on your path of greatness. Make it look as if God lied. You have been tithing, you've not seen anything. 
you've been praying there's no grace that is at work I tell you something is happening in the realm of the spirit he said ye who have continued with me one day it will be like a dream you will come out of your house in the morning and step into a dimension that you will never 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 recover from listen sit down let me tell you a little story years ago I used to go in the night I tell you I feel such a strong anointing strong anointing of the Holy Ghost that's what happens when we begin to teach truth he's called the spirit of truth so he comes to pack the truth that you are receiving every time the truth comes it comes like an arrow it comes upon your spirit man and then you receive it capacity is given to you to rise in the spirit listen listen years ago every night I would just go and pray pray in the spirit for hours and study and return back no anointing no nothing then there was no access to the privileges that people had are we together now that time if someone fell under the anointing you would take him to the hospital very few people understood the move of the spirit i would go and pray in tongues and sometimes two three hours prayer will turn into a vigil and i'll finish and carry my bible broke but in the spirit never understood the things of god but in the spirit controversial and mysterious but in the spirit and i continued there and god told me he said son one day men will look at you and think you are a god i remember god told me that thing just continue sometimes with no food i had not eaten anything don't think i was born inside an aircraft no sir Except for we do not let me tell you one of the symbols of the apostolic ministry God will pass you through almost every problem you are anointed to solve that is the only way the anointing comes an apostle is not an evangelist no that furnace of affliction you must pass through it is, is what creates the scar he said let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the mark of Christ let no man trouble me. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. For time Lord we look to Yahweh for the last time now hallelujah Please sit down if you can pick something to write let's just discuss a few things so that we can pray when God is done with you brothers and sisters except you choose see listen look at me let me teach you something when you are being mentored and trained don't change the equation you are giving you will not be successful that way are you hearing what I'm saying don't tamper with the equation you are giving. Be foolish enough to walk with it and watch the wonder it will make out of your life. Jesus said the kingdom is for children because if you tell a child, jump. If a Jimmy tells his daughter, get up and fly down, she would do it without thinking. Sometimes this hour, this claim that we have grown is the reason why we never walk with God. The simplicity of spiritual things. There are so many people who want the anointing but will never sit down to learn how it comes. You tell them this is how it comes, they will change the equation somewhere and never get it. And stay forever not getting it. Lord Jesus, let this place remain a place of transformation. We will be wicked people if we gather your people here and waste their time and not bless them.
coming here alone is a sacrifice you don't want to know how many spirits try to stop you to come for every meeting that you can leave your house and come here is a sign that victory started not that victory is starting sir please stand up I want to talk to you yes sir yes The Lord is healing you. You are sick. What's wrong with you? I'm seeing your legs. You stand a little on the legs. There's pain. Come. That devil will leave you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. you and I'm seeing a man that the devil wants to inflict with paralysis like complete stroke sir it was on 1st January 9th hold on please Saturday very early I had to rise from the village back to where I'm staying started. okay started when was that 1st January that is Sunday 1st morning. January yes that's when this happened yes My I God. rushed from the village to, to Abuja that's no I'm seeing you go for a meeting in a village or something. And while you were on your way, I'm seeing something leaving you from there. This is where this came. It is, uh, we are going to look for a land. Somebody is taking the land. That's what I'm saying. saying. In a village. Yes. From there you went to Abuja. That's where the problem came from. Sir, this is not leg problem. This is witchcraft. You understand? No matter what kind of drug you take, you find out that it will not relieve you. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Well, I'm tired of the drugs. That's why I left Abuja yesterday for the here. Yeah. You came from Abuja? Yes. Do you think you will go back the same? Do you think it's fair if you go back the same? No. Do you think I will be a good man of God if you go back the same? Well, you are a man of God, sir. Now, think about this. This man left Abuja and came. Now, we have, we, have, we have made all kinds of noise. We are men of God. You see the danger of not preparing? You come and stand and brag around and tell people you are hearing the voice of God and here is someone left Abuja and came. Why should he not go to a herbalist if he cannot be healed? No, 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 no. I said it. If I were not a preacher, I would not go to a herbalist in the secret. I would go in the open and carry the charm and come for fellowship and sit down in front let a man of God look at me if you criticize me I say I agree I'm guilty but he, I hand over the charm to you hold it and heal me if you cannot shut your mouth you see that's why you need an encounter you don't talk like this without an encounter you will make a fool of yourself no, sir sir Jesus will heal you. This is called koinonia. Hold my hand, sir. <sighs> my God. Jesus, I cause this now. Right now. Out! Just guide him. Out! I command in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord touch you right now. Sir, look at me. Lift one leg. Go ahead. Lift it. Just look at me. Forget about the leg. Lift your leg. Are you feeling any pain there now? Huh? You're seeing improvement? Yes. Right there. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Come up. Walk. Come. <laughs> Lift it. Do what you couldn't do. Can you jump? Try. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, that anointing is upon you. Never be the same. Not only this, but the Lord is restoring your finances. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. Are you together with that woman? I'm seeing life leaving you. That's your wife. Wife, come. Hallelujah. 
I'm looking at this woman in the spirit and I'm seeing a woman crying and saying, Lord, when will you visit us? Madam, please don't cry. Jesus is in this place. What is this? Who is a reverend? You lost your child. Who is a reverend? My God. It's all right. The Lord is restoring this family. Believe me when I say this, Mama, don't cry. Jesus is Lord. Daddy, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, there is a grace and anointing in this place to wipe tears. It says to comfort they that mourn in Zion. There are people who are mourning, although they are in Zion. Comfort those that mourn in Zion. Is that not what the Bible says we should do? We declare comfort to you right now. Stretch your hands towards this dear family and pray in one minute. Koinonia, pray. We bring your challenge face to face with the anointing. In the name of Jesus, we bring it face to face with the anointing. The same God that has touched you now. The same God touching mommy. Touching all the children. Hallelujah. Sir, I prophesy to you that after today's meeting, from as early as tomorrow, write it down, you will begin to hear dramatic testimonies in your life. Listen, you see, listen, I don't have a prophetic office. My prophetic dimension is creative. I will not just reveal. It makes it happen. You see that? There is, there is, the revelatory dimension of the prophetic where you access what will happen and inform them so that you give them hope but the creative dimension of God is your word is what makes it happen so in the name of Jesus whether or not that possibility was in your future I put it there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you sir God bless you man Stephen, Stephen, who is Stephen? My God, this is what happens now. Stephen, I'm hearing a name, Stephen. Stephen, if that is your name, if you're inside or outside, Stephen, I just want to speak to that person, Stephen. Stephen, my dad. My brother, look at me. God is taking the load on your head right now. I saw you coming in. I'm seeing load that is bigger than you. What? Why carry all this kind of load? Huh? Your life needs a real miracle. Almost everything about your life needs a miracle. And I'm going to pray for you. Look at me, um, gentleman. I have to pray for you because I'm seeing the devil wants to put sickness in your body. And I have to pray for you. The devil wants to put sickness in your body and I'll pray for you. We'll hurry up. Sorry. I hope I'm not wasting your time. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing two ladies. The anointing of the Spirit will come on them and 19 days at a stretch, the families will have breakthroughs. 19 days at a stretch. That's what the Lord is revealing to me. 19 days. 19 days. 19 days at a stretch by the Spirit.
let it be according to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus my brother I want to pray for you the Lord wants to take this load away from your life yeah. you believe that yeah. hold my hands Jesus please let your grace walk upon his life I set you free right now in the name of Jesus sickness leaves your body you have no business with infirmity I curse it in your life in the name of Jesus my brother God wants to help you but there is a lot of disorganization in your life you need a lot of order huh you need a lot of order in your life God is helping you in the name of Jesus I'm hearing the prayer of someone's mother in my ears and that prayer will be answered now with the anointing touching that person right as I'm speaking now the mother of that person is praying Set families free. Bless them by your spirit. Bless them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come promise. God is giving you wisdom. A new dimension of wisdom. That's what God is giving you. Fresh wisdom. You need it for this season. The Lord is giving you wisdom. Great wisdom. Great wisdom. Great wisdom. Can you just allow me flow as the Holy Spirit is flowing? Is that all right? Is that all right? So that you don't feel sometimes God, somebody at the back, the ushering stand, the power of God is touching that person right now. Someone right at the back, the ushering stand. And the Lord is saying it is over. This is the prophetic word. It is over. It is over. It is over. I'm prophesying to 11 people. The mountain that stands before you. The mountain that stands, 11 people, 11 people. No, no, as I speak, the power of God will confirm it. The mountain that stands before you, my God says I should tell you to be swallowed up. Swallowed up. Swallowed up. Swallowed up. Swallowed up. I place the word of God upon this. The mountain that stands before you is swallowed up in the name of Jesus. The mountain that stands before you is swallowed up by the anointing of the Spirit. Pay attention when you receive from God and expect to testify. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is visiting someone in the worship team. I hear laughter, laughter, laughter. That's what I hear in my spirit, laughter. I place the word of God upon this, laughter. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit. The Lord is ministering to me. Someone, radical breakthrough and transformation is coming upon someone in the worship team. Laughter. That's what the spirit of God is ministering to me. Ministering to me. Ministering to me. The lady standing near you, the anointing of the spirit is upon her. It's a new chapter in your life. That's what the spirit of God says. A new chapter in your life. New chapter in your life. The old is gone. The old is gone. The old is gone. The old is gone. Behold, I make all things new. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing one of the usher ladies climbing a ladder in the spirit. I don't know who, but I'm seeing one of the ladies, you are an usher, climbing a ladder in the spirit. And the Lord says, I should prophesy it. You are an usher, I know you are walking, but this miracle is for you. Climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. A curse, marriage curse is being broken in two families. Two families specifically now is a curse, is a curse, is a curse. Shabata lakata, brata sebe tekele kataya. Break that curse. 
break that curse. There are two ladies here. One is outside. You've been having irregular menstruation. This is, this is a very dangerous situation. And the Lord is touching that person. One is outside. And the Lord is setting that person free now. Now from that devilish thing. It must go now. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Paul said and when I came to you. I did not come with the excellency of speech. People are tired of all these things. People need real breakthroughs in their lives. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power to break every chain. just speak to one more family and then we'll sit down. There is an Igbo lady or an Igbo family from Abia State. God is setting them free right now. I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. Abia State and the Lord is saying it's time for the captivity of that family to be rolled away. It's time for the captivity of that person. Lord I don't know who that person is but I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus from Abia that's what the spirit of God is ministering to me Lord whether online whether here wherever it is I pray that your power will break that family free from the shackles of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone following online from Joss from Joss you have an ear problem and the Lord is setting you free right now from Joss you have an ear problem in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Sit down. God bless you. A few minutes. Let's just touch on something tonight. Jesus. Please take something to write. And um, let me just teach briefly. Our time is gone. I love it when the Holy Spirit steps in to do these things. Look at me. Do you know why many of us may never walk in these dimensions? The motif of our heart is to create an impression where people think this is an anointed man. If that is your motive, God will never trust you with this kind of power. You will destroy people with it. Are we together? Most people don't know that the anointing of the Spirit can kill the vessel carrying it. The anointing is like electricity. The same electricity that gives light can shock someone to death. Are we together now? When God anoints you, the standards become higher of his dealings with you. Someone can do something else and go scot free. But for you, just because Moses was angry, God said you are not entering the promised land. Yet the people who grumbled entered. So, be careful when you just say give me an anointing there, there are rules there is there is a system with which you work with this thing pride a lot of us here if God should trust us with this kind of grace people are in trouble especially when you enter a meeting where someone has doubted you for a long time you say let me let, he's, he's the one first let me release that anointing on the doubter and, and rubbish him then he will use that as a lesson and know that I am Apostle Joshua Selman and God says no way my, the death of my son is too expensive for that nonsense I hear the chains falling no I'm not singing I'm prophesying that's what I'm hearing you will see it happen now his word will never go for it don't mind me just allow me to do my madness I hear the chains falling. Literally, 
I'm hearing physical chains. I need a chance. I need a chance. Lord, let them fall from the life of me. That's what the anointing was designed to do. sit down. I want to teach you a very big secret tonight. Philippians chapter 2 the Lordship of Christ Philippians chapter 2 the Lordship of Christ Esther Yahi, the Lord is saying I am helping you. I'm bringing you help I'm bringing you help where your strength has failed, I am helping you that's what the Lord is saying what your parents could not do. I am helping you. I am helping you. Philippians chapter 2. The Lordship of Christ. What I want to teach you tonight is a very powerful secret. It's one of the mysteries that control walking in spiritual power. So I want you to pay attention to it. Hallelujah. Now, there are there are different dimensions of God as revealed in scripture. Please follow me. Different dimensions of God as revealed in scripture. And when a believer comes to Jesus Christ, when you come to what we call surrender your heart to him, it is important for us to understand what dimension of God is revealed. Are we together now? Every dimension of Jesus in the Bible is responsible for certain outcomes of a believer's life. The names of God all through the Bible represent different dimensions of him that were encountered by different people. So when they met the God that provides, they called him Jireh. Are we together? When they met a God who could override people's wrongs, was merciful and compassionate, they called him Rapha or Rapheka. Are we together now? So the names of God defined the dimensions of his dealings and his operation with people. Now, when you come to Jesus, listen carefully. When you come to Jesus as a sinner, you hear an altar call or the spirit of God convicts you, right? The Bible says he will convict the, the world of three things, of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. That's the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the unbeliever. The ministry of conviction bringing him to a point where he will see his need the dimension of God that is revealed at salvation is Jesus our savior it is important you understand that the saving dimension of Jesus when you when you preach Jesus as savior you reveal the love of God expressed to man through the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Listen, listen. Herein is the grace of God revealed. The Bible says that we are saved by that grace. Are we together now? So when you reveal Jesus as Savior, is the dimension of God revealed as Father, desiring to bring alienated sons and daughters who have been alienated, the Bible says, from the commonwealth of Israel. And he brings that through the substitutionary sacrifice. The atoning sacrifice of Jesus. Jesus, our Savior. Dying on the cross for your sin and my sin to fulfill the law that says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Are we together now? So when you receive Jesus as Savior, and it's important, you know, many believers doubt their salvation. And the reason why they doubt their salvation is they do not know what the condition for a believer to be saved is. There's something they used to teach us called assurance of salvation. Assurance of salvation is not the same thing as salvation. Assurance of salvation is the basis upon which your salvation lies. So you know it and then you can know whether or not you are saved and in Christ. The Bible gives us very clear parameters to know that a person is saved. Are we together now? The Bible says, for instance, in Romans chapter 10, when you read from verse 8 to 10, the Bible says, who shall ascend to the heavens and so on and so forth. He said, but the word is nigh thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, even the word of faith that we preach, that if you will confess 
with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him. So there are several things that must be believed by the believer. Those of us who are of the Anglican background, there's something that they call Anglican and I think parts of Catholic, the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed is a compendium of the revelation of Jesus as Savior chanted in a poem, right? So you say the things you believe that makes you a Christian, right? So you start, I believe in God the Father and Jesus his only son, so on and so forth, you know, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was dead and crucified, buried, he rose again on the third day, not the fourth day. It's important to believe exactly what the Bible says. There are people who believe Jesus rose up on the seventh day, you are wrong. You are still not saved. Jesus did not, because he, the spirit of truth cannot be administered with a lie. It has to be true. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Very important. There are many things about the Christian faith that becomes a foundation. If you do not believe in the virgin birth, you are not a Christian. I look forward to times when I begin to write books. There are many truths that must be taught the body of Christ. The virgin birth of Jesus is important. The virgin birth of Jesus is the only basis that authenticates his divinity. That means that Mary had Jesus without the assistance of a man. Otherwise, he could not have been divine. So the virgin birth is not just proving that the lady who carried Jesus kept herself until Jesus came. It's more than that. It's more than that. You must believe that Jesus became a man and walked on the earth. The earthly ministry of Jesus is part of the basis because the Bible tells us he became a man. That is the only reason why you should believe that he's a high priest who has been touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Are we together now? Yeah. You must believe in the fact that he was sinless. Now, this is the part people don't believe. If you don't believe that Jesus was sinless while he walked upon the earth, it's a terrible thing. There are all kinds of theologies going around saying, look, no, look, um, he, it's impossible. He was a man with flesh and blood. 100% man. It's important for us to... No, no, no. The Bible tells us and we trust the word of God. We were not there, but we believe in the integrity of the word because the Bible says holy men wrote as they were moved of the spirit. And the spirit of God is the spirit of truth, meaning he cannot lie. It's not that he does not lie. He cannot lie. Are we together? This is the confidence upon which our faith is grounded on. And you must believe he did not die on the road. Jesus did not die by car accident. How he died matters to your salvation. Right? The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. How did that happen? For it is written, according to the Mosaic law, cursed is every man that hangs on the tree. The man who dies from starvation is not cursed. He just died. So if Jesus died without dying on the tree, he could not be a cause for man. Cost is he that hanged on the tree, right? That the blessings of Abraham, what is the blessings of Abraham? Not car, not money, justification by faith. That's what the Bible calls the blessings of Abraham. The blessings of Abraham is different from the blessing. There are two different things. The blessing of Abraham is justification by faith. God preached the gospel to Abraham, right? That's what Apostle Peter taught us. And Abraham believed God and it was credited unto him for righteousness. So we, like faithful Abraham, partake of that blessing by giving an opportunity to believe God and receive that credit of righteousness. That's the blessing of Abraham. So that we are justified by faith and then it gives us access to receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians chapter 3 is what teaches us that. So it is important that we understand that Jesus as Savior talks about the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Now listen please. There is nothing that any man can do to be saved. No, 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 no. By, by that I mean there, there is no contribution. There is a participation but there is no contribution. Your participation is to receive by faith. That's the only thing. But you do not have a contribution when Jesus is revealed as Savior. The moment Jesus is revealed as Savior, he, the love of God is revealed unassisted. 
unassisted the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus that's the apex of the demonstration of the love and the grace of God behold what manner of love the Bible says the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called that's the process are we together are you following me now I'm taking our time to give us this basis so that it will strengthen our understanding there is no man there is no good works of any man that can be the basis upon which your salvation no 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 it's, it's impossible I cannot be saved on the grounds of my works I cannot be saved on grounds of things that I have done no every time you look up to what you have done to be saved you are out of the grace of God but the moment you are saved not walking the works of kingdom is the abuse of that grace you see it now before you are saved you only receive after you are saved you are empowered the dimension of grace upon you no longer just becomes receiving it becomes an empowerment to do I must walk the works of him that sent me now this is the balance we must bring over the grace message there are two dimensions there is the grace that appears as God's mercy given to man simply because of our helplessness to be able to attain that position of righteousness the very nature of God but now having obtained that righteousness we are further empowered by the ministry of the spirit to begin to produce what the Bible calls the fruits of righteousness are we together but that's not where I'm going tonight there is a dimension of Jesus Christ that many people have not come into terms with it has not been a revelation to them and that's why they don't walk in power that's why they cannot walk in certain dimensions it's called the lordship of christ it's one of the it's one of the the pillars of the christian faith you cannot claim you are a christian and not acknowledge the lordship of christ philippians chapter 2 please from verse 5 let this mind he says be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. So the word mind there means an understanding. There is an understanding that must be in you. Next verse says, Though, who, although, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Seven says, But he made himself of no reputation, and he took upon himself the form of a servant, and was in the likeness of men. Eight and being found in the fashion of man he humbled himself you see that follow the progression and was obedient unto death mark that obedient unto death obedient even to the point of death obedient with no resistance we are studying the servanthood of jesus now the hallmark of his servanthood was what obedience that costed him his life right then he says even death on the cross verse 9 wherefore on the strength of his obedience unto death although being God God had so highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name next verse it says that at the name of Jesus not necessarily the mention of it it's not the mention of it that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth verse 11 and every tongue should confess that jesus christ is what the name that was given to him we have discussed this in koinonia the name is not jesus i hope you know this the name that was given to him is not jesus jesus was the name his mother gave him when they gave birth to him correct Christ was the name he assumed when he became full of the spirit but Lord was conferred upon him that's the name the name is not Jesus the name is Lord that confessed that Jesus who became the Christ in his earthly work is now Lord are you seeing that now to the glory of God the Father. So the Lordship of Christ is very important. Write this down please. There are a number of Hebrew words that are translated Lord. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to play around with Hebrew and Greek words. But just a few of them. There is Jehovah. Right? Jehovah is translated Lord in capital letter. It was his name revealed to, to the Jews as the God of the Hebrews. But there is Adon 
from where we get the word Adonai, right? Is translated Lord. Lord. The Greek word is curious. Don't, don't, don't worry. I'm just giving you a theological background of the word Lord. And what that means is sovereign controller. Listen, please. It means master. It means owner. But it also means sovereign controller. It gives you a picture of one who either by his own strength or by your permission has unrestrained access to everything about your life. Are you getting the idea now? Either by his own strength so I can come into someone's house and push the door by my strength with respect to that combat I am Lord because I push the door. Are we together? Or the person can open the door and welcome me. I am still Lord. So when the Bible gives the idea of Lordship, it talks of ownership, it talks of sovereign power, it talks of dominion, but it also talks of unrestrained access. Are we together? So Jesus being Lord is a revelation of one who has absolute control. This dimension of the Lordship of Jesus has not been experienced in many believers. Listen, did you know that you can have a revelation of Jesus as Savior and yet not have a revelation of Him as Lord? When you have a revelation of Jesus as Lord, it will change everything in your life as we are going to see shortly. The Lordship of Jesus is the dominion of His person over every aspect of your life. And there is a law in the realm of the spirit. Your degree of submission to authority is your degree of dominion. Listen, listen. The centurion came to Jesus. And he said, you know, this and that. My son is ill. And please, I want, you know. Jesus said, okay, you are a captain in the army. Let me respect you and come to your house. And he shocked Jesus with a revelation. He said, no, 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 no. You don't need to come to my house. Speak the word only. For I am a man under authority the authority of the roman government so my strength comes with my submission to that authority and because i am under authority i tell one go and he must go come and he must come so he said jesus i know that you are not here by yourself you too you are under an authority and jesus said i have not found such faith such understanding that a man knows the relationship between submission and power in fact, here's how Apostle James puts it. He says, submit yourself to the mighty hand of God. Then, he says, resist the devil and he will. He will not flee because of your ability to resist him. He will flee because of the authority that backs you while you are resisting. So your own power is derived from your authority. Is the Greek word exousia. The capacity to legislate on behalf of one on the strength of your co your connection are we together now the best description of that ability is marriage so if a man is married with his wife if the man is not around the wife can safely if he's a responsible man the wife can safely act in the stead of the man is that true yeah so jesus gives his bride the church the unrestrained ability to demonstrate the reality of his person on earth but there is a condition the condition is that like a faithful woman only becomes a faithful woman on the strength of her submission to her husband is that not true the bible says wives do what submit yourselves so the church that is now the wife of the lord jesus the bride of christ derives her power by submitting the revelation of the lordship of jesus is why demons eat up people cheaply why principalities and powers destroy people because when they come they see that you have believed in the substitutionary power of jesus but you have not believed in his life gaining dominance over you write this down the dominion of the word in us is the clearest measure of the lordship of christ in you the dominion of the word of God. Dominion means the degree to which your life is a reflection of obedience to the word. The dominion 
of the word in us is the clearest measure of the lordship of Christ. So if you say Jesus is lord of my life, all I need to do is to see to what degree your life confirms to the word. And then I know whether or not he is lord over your life. Because that Jesus we speak about is the living logos. John 1 verse 1. The word of God. Jesus gave us a mysterious statement. Say, how can you believe God whom you have not seen when you cannot believe your brother? So if you cannot believe the word of God written, you'll be a liar to claim you believe God. The Bible already said that God you believe inspired men to write this. If you do not believe scripture, then it means you are not a believer. Listen, the dominion, by dominion, the unrestrained access that you have given the word of God to find expression in your life is the clearest measure. Look at me. Jesus being Lord in our lives is not something that is just, it's not a lip service. Your life must demonstrate that death. Your life must demonstrate it. There are two standards that demonstrate that Jesus is Lord over our lives. Write it down quickly. Number one is surrender. Your degree of surrender. If Jesus is Lord of your life, let me see it by how much of surrender. How much you are willing to decrease that he will increase. Not how much you are willing to pray in tongues. Not how much you are willing to preach. No. Not how much you are willing to climb scriptures. Surrender. This is where many believers in the church are shortchanged and greatly cheated. The difficulty to surrender everything. King of my life. You are my own and I live for you alone. You're the king of my life. You have my all and I lay my life. Greater love had no man than this, than a man laid down. The degree to which you have surrendered your finances the degree to which you have surrendered your emotions. Look up, please. You can be born again. You have given God your heart, but you have not given God your money. He's not Lord of your life. You have given God your, your heart, but you have not given God your intellect. You see, the area Satan attacks in your life is the area that the Lordship of Jesus has not yet covered. That becomes his place, his point of attack in a man's life. When Satan comes into your life, he can't just attack you anyhow. He keeps searching. He does it by trial and error. So he looks at your giving life. He looks at your obedience and he knows that Jesus is not yet Lord here. He looks at your ego and he knows that you can give every other thing but your reputation. And then his attack comes from the dimension of your reputation. Jesus is truly Lord in your life when you are completely surrendered. Everything. It, it is a theme in this ministry how that you must surrender everything to God. It's called death. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ, the Bible says. Nevertheless, I live. He said, yet not I, but the life that I now live. In the flesh, that is the body. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Right? Who loved me and gave himself for me. It's a realm called Galatians 2.20. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. Whatever, hold on. Let me press a point. Whatever in your life you cannot give God is the idol in your life. And that's what Satan will use to kill you. There are many people, it's relationships and association. You can give God everything but friends are we together yeah everything but friends everything but your education oh i'm brilliant you know i have a master's in this i have a phd in this and that and that i'm an intellectual i mean i'm i'm, I'm this and that and that I, I have 12 masters and i mean you have to respect that and the devil says that's right he will use it and destroy your life everything you don't hand over to God cannot be trusted to bless you whatever it is in the kingdom things only bless us to the degree we've handed them over to God 
So the test of lordship was best demonstrated in the life of the patriarch Abraham. Genesis chapter 22 verse 1. The Bible says how that God tested Abraham. And he says, Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Right? And he says, and it came to pass after these things that God did test or tempt Abraham. He, God was trying to get to bless Abraham. But he knew that Abraham must be tested. That lordship test. Take thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee to the land of Moriah, and offer him for a bond offering. Abraham, come promise. Abraham wakes up in the morning to a prophetic instruction. After waiting for over 25 years to have a child. Please pay attention. And then the Lord tells him, carry this child. Don't discuss with your wife. Go and kill him. And then the Bible says, Abraham arose early. Everybody say obedience. Unto death. Say it, obedience. Unto death. And he held his son. Do you know what that means? Gathered the servants and said, look, we have to go and offer sacrifices unto God. And Abraham was thinking in his heart, my future. The son of every man represents his future. The one who continues the name. And he says, Abraham, destroy your future. Can you give up your future to prove that you love me? <sighs> Abraham said, this is hard, but I will do it. You see, every time I teach about surrender, it does me something. Because it's something that has happened in my own life. It's a circumcision that only when you have given up everything. Master, we have left all to follow you. Left all to follow you. And he took Abraham. He took Isaac. When he got to the base of the mountain, he knew that the servants would think he has run mad and would stop him. And he said, you people should wait. He started climbing the mountain with his own son. Only son. His future. The son of promise. Waited more than 25 years. And the son Isaac started getting concerned. And he said, Father, I see the wood. I see the fire. Of course, he saw the knife too. Where is the sacrifice? And he said, Jehovah Jireh. In his heart, he was saying, Son, before your arrival, there was one whom I loved. And not even my love for you can compete. My God. That is the realm of men and women who will walk in power. Who can give God anything, including their lives. He tied Isaac. You can imagine Isaac begging his father and saying, Father, please, if I offended you, forgive me. And he said, no, no, it's not about offense. It's about the lordship. And God was seeing a foreshadow of what only him could do. Do you know people could not give their children easily like that? God was about to give his only son. And here he was seeing a mortal man. And Abraham carried Isaac and dropped Isaac. The angels were wondering, asking questions. And saying, I hope this guy is correct. His future is about to be jeopardized. He lifted the knife. Romans chapter 4. The Bible says that Abraham already planned, paraphrasing, that when he killed Isaac, he would beg God to bring Isaac back to life. In other words, God, I've obeyed you. Now my son is dead. Please bring him back to life. And when he lifted up the knife, God said, stop, Abraham, for now, I know. Not when you left your house. Now, now, I know that thou fearest me, seeing that you did not withhold your son from me. Here comes a blessing. Now, I swear by my name, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, listen, many people claim the blessings of Abraham. The Jews wanted to do that. And they said, we are the sons of Abraham. And he said, if you are the sons of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham. The works of, of Abraham is loyalty and obedience unto death. That's how you get the blessings of Abraham. It's not by chanting and quoting. <clears throat> you are not qualified when you cannot submit and surrender everything. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, if it is God you are working with, 
he will demand everything from you everything just listen to what i'm telling you he will demand everything everything means he must probe it until it comes under his lordship just when you love this brother you cannot sleep because of him then god comes to you in the night and says my daughter you have been saying you love me so much but i'm asking you a question can you leave this guy he didn't say leave him it's just a question and he said no this has to be a demon i'm 32 i need to marry by march what kind of lack of breakthrough is this apostle prophesied miracle service that i must marry and now one spirit and you reject and cast when you finish god says are you done answer my question the still small voice can you leave the brother and just when you are about to think his call comes and he sends a text thank god for the gift of you in my life i said god i reject this I, I reject this don't play with my heart and god says that's the idol in your heart if you cannot lay him aside you finish with your salary and you are happy but to go and buy trousers and shirt and god says carry all that money join it to whatever else you have in your account and just when they send you money from abroad and says carry it and go and say say god abba you are joking even you you know i would do it there's no point asking me you already know i would not obey you because it can't be you you are a good god you don't punish people like that you see how we use scriptures and then god looks at you whereas his plan was that by that act of obedience he will bless you do you know there are times god has told me please i'm not saying you should bring money to me after the service that's not what i'm saying get me correct so you don't think i'm using someone to manipulate you you know i'm blessed listen do you know that there are times god has spoken to me that he was going to test certain people and he will give them instructions to empty their accounts for instance and carry the money and come and give me now god did not tell me their faces but god told me that when they come i should not collect it i should only bless it and give them back and you see the people dragging themselves they stand like prisoners who just came out i mean they, they can't believe it they are surprised that they are obeying because they are not supposed to obey that kind of instruction obedience unto death while you are laughing i hope you get what i'm saying the implications of the lordship of christ and then they come and stand and sometimes it's not like i pray on the money and give them immediately i just bless it and i said all right um the lord will honor you and they live sad you know something you know that something died god is this you i did this did they charm me and after three days i called them and i said this is what the lord has said i should bless no 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 apostle and i said no and within one week their lives changed to another dimension when you pass the lordship test no charm believe me no principality no enchantment will survive you because you are under an authority that is committed to defending you hallelujah one time I heard I think one of our people here was stranded somewhere and the person called me he was a worker and he called me and he said I'm a worker in Koinonia I'm stranded here and there and there and when I verified that the story was true I said immediately we'll try to get resources to you immediately why because the fact that that person identified as a worker and we know that the person is a faithful worker puts pressure on my integrity to defend the person are we together now yeah that's why God does not show up and defend many of us. Some of you will go for a meeting now and say there is a lady wearing yellow. Whether you see her or not, the power of God will touch you and everybody is watching you and say, ah, apostle must be carrying a charm. It's not that easy. It's lordship. The key is lordship that I may decrease so that he, Christ, will increase. Have you laid down your Isaac? Everybody please look at me carefully. Don't say yes laying down your Isaac is do you know there are certain Isaacs you cannot lay down you can only give God permission to carry them you don't have the strength to lay it down hmm. Koinonia is quiet tonight because you suspect God will do something about this message I assure you he will 
don't, don't even try to heal. He will right away. The God I serve. There are prayers that you don't pray twice to answer. Let me tell you the kind of prayer God answers once. Lord, have your way. Ah, music to the ears of the Lord. Have your way. That's exactly because he really will have his way. But you see, you must trust him to know he will not destroy you. Look what he made out of our lives. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is so good. You must get to a point where you can lay everything. Look at me. There are some of you, you claim Jesus is Lord, and the Lord just tells you, take one of your shoes out of the ten you have. Just take one shoe and you say, no, 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 God, you can't do this. You, he's not Lord. Brothers and sisters, you will never be blessed that way. As a man of God, there are times they will invite you somewhere and you have all kinds of honorariums waiting and then another small gathering somewhere and God will say, that's the one. The gathering where you are the one who will support them after the meeting. You will finish and say, I'm aware you guys don't have bike money. Take 1,000. And God says, that's the one you go to. Let me show you why many people never walk in power. The secret of power is the revelation of the lordship of Jesus. Jesus submitted, obeyed unto death. Wherefore, God so highly exalted him. Submit your finances to the principles of God and see the wonder he will make out of your life. Submit your emotions to the control of Jesus and see what he will do with you. Submit your gift and talent. Carry all your certificates and kneel down before him and say, Lord, you are the reason why I have these masters. I put it before you. What do you want me to do with it? And God says, that's all. Somebody will stop sleeping in NMPC. It does, I don't care whether you read whatever. God will wake somebody and say, bless my child because he has now put me in control of that certificate. You can carry it on your own and move around looking for job. And somebody will say, are you, are you with masters? Ask you, can you manage gate man? You say, about me? Because you are the one looking for it. But when you surrender it, surrender is powerful. I don't know how to tell you this thing. It's something I've done. Oh, listen, this man you are seeing standing before you can give God anything. Ask God. Ask him. Money, ah, that one is not even, I don't have to be a Christian to do that one. Years ago, the Lord asked me a question and said, can you give me your life? And I told him no. I honestly thought about it and I said, I can't give him my life. I can give you my heart to be persecuted. I can give you my ears to hear nonsense from critics, but I'm not sure I can give you my life because I was sincere and the Lord did something for me. Believe me, like Paul, for me now, Joshua Selman, to live is Christ, to die is gain. God uses a business terminology for, for death. I won't die, you, you try to kill me, you are wasting your time. You don't know how many times they've tried to kill me. But now it's not for fear. I need to be alive to do many serious things for the kingdom. So it's not just fear, oh, accident. Ask my people what happens when we are traveling. There was a time I think we were going to Lagos or so. Or we're, I think we are coming from Ibadan. The plane was shaking as if somebody was doing high jump on it. Everybody, you know, first people start being uncomfortable. Everybody just greets their neighbor. I hope you're okay. And then later on, people want to unphone and snap so that whatever happens. Ask them. I, will, I sleep all through. Do you know the mysteries that surround my life to die? Yeah, yeah. Paul died. Immediately the people left. He resurrected himself. I said, let's, let's continue. Don't mind these lousy people. When he was done, he said, I'm ready to be poured out as a drink offering. I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up. Are you blessed? Many people reject death out of fear, not the confidence of what their submission to God has brought. Please, Koinonia, don't trivialize what I'm telling you. If you want to see power and triumph, you want to see battles being fought for you, come under the authority of the Lord Jesus and see what will happen. What will it cost you? Hold on. It will cost you only one thing. Your ambitions, yourself, 
your will. Your will is the price to pay for Jesus to be Lord. Your will. Your will. Self. I want it my way. It must be my way. I want to live in Abuja by myself. God says, go to Zamfara. He says, I cast that spirit. Zamfara, where? I'm, I, I, the Bible says, a land flowing with milk and honey. And you go to Abuja and live like an armed robber there. Hopping from place to place because the hand of God is not there. Are we together? Yeah. To sacrifice your will is one of the hardest things for a believer to do. Thy will be done in my life. Thy will be done in my life. Lord, thy will be done in my life. This is how Christians walk. We come to God with our desires and then we arrange scriptures that will force him to have to give us our desires and we are afraid of telling him nevertheless Lord this is my desire but what is your opinion we don't want it when you can say nevertheless Jesus is Lord of your life Lord I want to buy this house but nevertheless I've died to my will Koinonia please hear me I bring you to a place of power tonight when everything about your life revolves around the purposes of the kingdom where he becomes Lord over your life. Are we together? Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. So when you have your ambitions this is how I want my life to be. This is how I want my ways to be. And God says, whatever it is, this is my plan for you. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. It says they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you, you, a future. You have trusted people who don't have guarantee over your life. Why not hand everything over to him? Take now thy only son, whom thou lovest. And offer him as a bond offering. Your journey to power is a dream until you can sacrifice all to him. Not sacrifice some, not sacrifice the most important ones, everything. That you get to a point today where if God says, Empty your, your bank account, yes, sir. You get to a point where God says, Sow your car or your house, yes, sir. Many carnal people will insult you and call you stupid where God sits down and God says look promise I want you to get up now and go to Togo your life from March starts in Togo go and stay there for as long as it is him when you have lost the ability to tell God no he is Lord of your life that's when you will see the power of God that's when you will speak and have him back you not just because somebody laid hands on you you know, you've heard me say it in Koinonia many times. Hold on. That so many people, I'm sure some of you are waiting now after service to see me. And as soon as you see me, you want to hold my shoe. It's not there. The power is not in the shoe. You can carry it and go with it. It's not in the shoe. The power is not even in my hands coming on you. The power is in a posture in the realm of the spirit. A posture of complete surrender. The day I stop that, I will never see that power in my life again. Are we together? Jesus, be Lord of my life. Don't just say, I, I, Lord, I know you too. You know you are Lord. He said, don't, I don't know. If you say, I am Lord, I am watching. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And will not do, do. Obedience, obedience, obedience. This is where greed comes from. This is where selfishness comes from. This is why many people are poor. It's not because they are not business people. It's not because of this and that, all kinds of things. You know, people read all kinds of business books. Listen, let me tell you something. You know that Koinonia is full of entrepreneurs here and there. There are millionaires in this place, silent millionaires just sitting looking around. They are very blessed people in this place. But I can tell you this, much more than business acumen or whatever it is, if God cannot get your heart, you are a joker as far as impact in the kingdom is concerned. So if God has declared for us as a family of faith that this is our year of triumph, 
then we must get to a point in our lives where all everybody say all say it say all all you have surrendered your will to the extent that if God looks at you and says no marriage you say Kai God this is painful oh, but your will be done I just said married someone I mean I felt the shock it just entered some of us in I, I, I rebuked that one that apostle you are going too far just Abba. Lord you have everything in this ministry there is no instruction you will give us that we will not do you ask the leaders there is nothing God says to be done that will not be done if God says empty all the ministry account savings reserves anything Monday morning it's me that will supervise it it will go you can publish it in the newspaper and say look stupid men of God are here again no problem let the stupidity yield results we are too carnal that's why we don't see the power of God there's too much carnality sensually driven driven by intellect oh you know if you add a plus b we are intelligent being c plus no 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 when you come to the kingdom the word of god is your modus operandi you have to live by it find out what happened to the lives of people who obeyed god in scripture mad instructions but they obeyed and god vindicated them and blessed them koinonia please hear me you must rise to a point in the name of Jesus Christ where nothing becomes too much for you to give him. I'm showing you where the devil is destroying you. Do you know why many people are poor? Because they have not handed the affairs of their finances to God. Believe me, recession is biting people, lashing out on people. And the simple reason is they have not handed over their finances to God. You believe your survival comes through your job, so it will punish you. You believe your survival comes through your uncle. So the day you try to call your uncle and he does not pick, he said, no, nothing will kill my uncle. He has to remain alive to take care of me. You are trusting in man. Woe unto any man who puts his strength in a man. You believe what I'm telling you? This is how the Lord trained me. Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That's what the Lord said to me. It's a promise. And he's kept it. He's kept it. Everything God gives me is not a problem for him because he knows that it belongs to him. Can God give you something and take it back? You know, it's like our little ones here. You can give them something now. They will collect and you say, give me back and they will refuse. That's how many of us are. Oh God, give me divine health. And then he says, all right, can you use it for my house? I say, no, oh God, now that I'm, I mean, uh. Esther used her beauty for the glory. When he became Lord over her beauty, she became queen. Everything Jesus becomes Lord over prospers. Whatever he's not Lord over suffers. It's a law. Everything Jesus is allowed to become Lord over prospers to be lord is not just to declare and say lord uh -uh. to be lord means you are willing to abide by his terms over that affairs so over your finances when you say jesus is lord what you are saying is as far as kingdom finance is concerned i am ready to live by all the principles so you tight in a delight some way when you carry your time to the house of God you don't frown as if you are going to bribe God Jesus I thank you for the privilege of bringing a tenth when you are sowing a seed when you are giving you are knowing that I'm opening the floodgates of heaven and Lord I thank you not that you are saying God this money I'm giving if no return comes uh -uh. he is Lord whether he blesses me or not believe me I cannot accuse him what will be the accusation? What will be the accusation? That God is not faithful? If I die of sickness today, the last word that will come out of my mouth is, Lord, you are the healer. And then I'll rest. Society, listen, is full of people with high blood pressure. Do you know what causes high blood pressure? Ask the doctors, they will tell you because you are in charge of your own world and there is pressure to make it work 
I have to pay the school fees of my child. What will people say if I cannot pay it? And so you go around putting yourself in trouble. No, no, I am, I am 40 years at my age. I should have a car. So I have to get a car. I have to hustle around. And so you are trying and somebody will dupe you and you come back and almost high blood pressure. No, no, no. People cannot say I'm buried. I've been married for five years. Small, small boys and girls are now giving birth. Me, that I'm like their mother, I will do anything. And you go and meet a herbalist and you land in trouble. You see how the lack of surrender to God is the reason for stress. I've preached this again and again and I will repeat it. Brothers and sisters, there is a place in Christ where men can be free. I bring you to the place of freedom where you hand over everything about your life and rest. You are carrying a load that is too much for you. This year, I must build a house. Whether the devil likes it or not, a good plan. But you are now trying to do it by the strength of the flesh. You now go and borrow money from the bank. As soon as you borrow money from the bank, they now steal it. You are in trouble. No house, no money. High blood pressure starts. And then the devil says, okay, let me do. Go and borrow another one. You get into trouble. By August, you are almost dying. You can't get up in the morning and breathe well. You see someone of 27 looking like, like 59. You ask him what is happening in Nigeria. No, it's not Nigeria. It is your understanding. Because there are still happy people in this country. Is God speaking to us? There are many students under pressure. I must get a job by myself. I must work service. I'm, no, 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 no. See, I want you to be, look, trust God's responsibility over your life. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him. If God does not give you a wife, you can't marry. Well, you can marry, but what you will be responsible for whoever and whatever you marry. If except the Lord builds the house if God does not give you a job you can lobby your way and get a job that will punish you your joy leaves from the day you get that job it's only God that can give you a ministry you can organize people who will steal from you, criticize you they are the ones who will pay people in the newspaper to say let's confess one day we went to the back of one fence and he rubbed one oil on my face the same people I trust in him. I've handed my entire life to him. Such a realm of freedom. You put pressure on his integrity through your obedience. Lord, I obey you. If nothing happens, I said it in one of the meetings in Koinonia, never claim to be giving God the glory when you are the one taking the shame. Never claim to be giving God the glory when you are the one taking the shame. We live in a society where we are so shame conscious. Ah, look at the shame they have brought to me. That's why you will suffer for nothing. Shame, that word is a, is a word that you hear being used everywhere. Let them not say I'm not rich. Ah, sh I don't want shame. So you go and borrow money and buy bottles of minerals. And then from there the person says, look, the next day I won't talk to you again. I'm coming to come and carry my bottles in the presence of your visitors. Leave everything to God. Tonight we are going to do a handover ceremony. Not from one power to the other. Handover of your life and destiny. And say, Lord, this load is killing me. I can't sleep. God designed sleep. There are many of us here, we've not slept for days. It's not just demon spirits. Stress. Stress. You see a pastor of 100 members not sleeping. You ask him where he said, where will we get generator by Sunday? Mr. Man, you didn't call yourself. Calm down. Five minutes in the presence of God. God will get up and speak to someone. You want to borrow gen, God will bl bl instruct somebody to buy it and give you. These are my contemplations. Please, I don't want you to take what I'm saying lightly. The secret to the power of God upon my life aside from my love for him is my total surrender of my will and everything in my life I have pleaded with God crying in the secret place that whatever is in my life that I cannot give God I've begged him to never give me it is the favor I have pleaded with God to do for me that Lord if there is anything in my life that I will not be able to hand over to you may it never come that's the way of saving me 
finances, ministry prestige, anointing, titles, reputation, influence. What is it that you cannot give God? It's the reason why the devil will destroy you. Brothers, you will hand over everything. There are many gentlemen now. There are predominantly young people here. And many brothers are out to take this year of triumph and make sure they are established. They want to force this door to open. No, you use keys. You don't use force. No, I must start ending. I'm not a small boy again. I'm, I'll be hearing this message. I must put it to work. You are about to put yourself in big trouble. I hand over my life to you. Jesus, if you don't help me, no one can help me. I will obey you and declare your lordship by allowing the word of God to dominate in me. If you have said that tithing brings favor, I will tithe and nothing will stop me. If praising you is the secret to breakthrough, I will praise you like a madman. That's his lordship over the life. Everything you believe the word of God can give you, have you applied it? Jesus is not Lord. I told you the, the, the dominion of the word in your life and the freedom with which you give the principles of the kingdom to find expression in you is the measure of the lordship of Christ in your life. I've come tonight to bring a very, very simple but profound secret to you. Koinonia, make Jesus Lord of your life experientially, not by talk. Hand over your house to him and see whether you will beg for food. Hand over your children to him and see whether he cannot pay their school fees. Hand over your education and see whether they will drive you out of the university because there's no school fees. He says, come unto me all ye that labor. Hand over your intention to build a house to him and watch somebody build a house and bring the, the, the key and give it to you. You have been trying to buy a car of 1.5 million. It's almost killing you. You raise 700,000, the devourer eats it. You raise 500,000, the devourer eats it. Why not go to God and say, Lord, there is a way this thing is done. I come to you. I come to you. Help me. And the Lord will tell you A, B, C, D. And you want a car of 1 million, God will give you a car of 10 million. And people will look at you and say, you are a thief. No, you are not a thief. He is Lord of my life. When he's Lord of your life, he takes care of you. By God's grace, I have a few people that I take care of, like my children, and I am ever faithful to their lives. Their school fees, their well-being, it is my responsibility as a father figure over their life to take care of them. And I make sure, whether they deserve it or not, I give them. Not necessarily just because I love them alone. It's a show of responsibility. So when you hand over everything to God, he will pay your bills. You hand over everything to God, he will put laughter in your face. You hand over everything from, to God, he will shield you from recession. There are people already, this February, they have received rewards that even if they got by December, they will be happy. Already, because they handed everything over to God. I've handed Koinonia and I do that to him all the time. When I'm preparing for every service, I say, Lord Jesus, I am before you. I'm a small child before you. There are people listening, thousands of people waiting to be blessed all over the world. And Lord, I'm asking that you only use me. Speak through me. And I carry that sincere heart and come before him. And the results are remarkable. Results that not even me myself can account for. This is the key to ease in life. Surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Sing it, I surrender all, I surrender all, hand over the ministry and rest. Hand over the business and rest. Hand over the children's school fees. Hand over your business and rest. Withholding nothing. Sing it one more time to him. Hand over the relationship and rest. Hand over the marriage and rest. 
hand over the projects and rest hand over your desire for the anointing rest 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 will you give your life away that's what he's asking you tonight koinonia will you give your life away so he it's your turn to respond to him now Lord, I give myself away. I give myself away. But, Apostle, you don't understand. If I don't pay the rent by tomorrow, they are going to drive me. If God wakes that landlord from sleep, that's only when he can come to you. The landlord will sleep for eight hours. What guarantee does he have that he will wake up? Brothers and sisters, listen. I want you to trust God. The carnality has killed unbelief from believers. I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Whatever God cannot give me cannot be given by any man. No matter who deceives you. Some may trust in horses. Some may trust in chariots. He said, but we will trust in the name of our God. Hallelujah. Get to a point of reckless abandon. You hand over everything and say, Lord, I'm tired of sleepless nights. You are not the first God has called into ministry. Lord, what if people don't come for this program? My reputation is at stake. Uh -uh, uh -uh. You are the one who called yourself. Lord, what if I don't make it? People would think I'm not successful. Yourself, your flesh, your ego is the very reason you will never step into it. I show you the mystery of ease submission to the lordship of christ jesus submitted himself philippians 2 5 obedient unto death when there is nothing else to withhold from him then he will give you everything everything Kai. everything everything this god can surprise men have you not read it in your bible listen listen you know i have watched and, and let me say this with all humility I have watched the way God is raising mighty people in this ministry. Especially in the area of finances. In the last three or four months, I have been shocked at how many millionaires God has produced in this ministry. Raising, I'm talking of ordinary people. Not just people who have any necessary acumen. Because he found men who can say, Lord, everything that you have, everything I have belongs to you. Trust me, let me be your treasurer. The last treasurer betrayed you. Let me be another one. Trust me. And God says, you are doing this for me? There are people entering unbelievable dimensions of the anointing. You know why? Because they have said, Lord, bless me. It's not about myself. It's for your glory. Bless me. I surrender my crowns. Men may clap for me, but I consciously take those crowns and drop them. Every time, especially after the miracle service, no matter how late, when I go home, after everyone has gone and left me alone, I never lie down and sleep. I have my little chair that is like my altar. I just kneel down and I say, I kneel to the doer of these wonders. People are in their houses discussing me and say, my God, what a great man. And I kneel down. Sometimes people pile all kinds of seeds. There are all kinds of envelopes and I just drop all of them on the ground. I said, Lord, this belongs to you. They gave the wrong person, but please make it right because I hand it over to you. It belongs to you. And God says, you do this for me, ready for the next level. Some of us have stayed in one level of the anointing forever. You are anointed, but there is no growth because that is the level God has seen that he will be glorified. When he takes you to another level, you become Lord of yourself. We are going to pray. I told you it's a handover service tonight. Lay down your burdens. It's killing you. Lay down your burdens. It's killing you. What you are praying for, somebody got it today as a testimony. Why not you?
please listen to what I'm telling you and you will watch God bless you is the antidote to recession you will get up and move around you are sleeping God will wake somebody else and say have you considered my servant promise I want you not just to bless him one time but so 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 amount from your salary goes to him for as long as I bless you and he's minding himself this is the mystery some of us walk in that people just look at our lives and say how are these people doing it it's the mystery of death to allow him be Lord how many of us are willing to say Lord you have your way in my life rise up on your feet have your way Lord have your way have your way Lord have your way Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Over my finances. Over my relationships. Over the ministry you have given. Over your education, over your children, over your marriage, over Kaduna State, over Nigeria. Have your way. Oh Lord. Have your way. Listen to me. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest look up we're going to pray some prayers but so as to conserve time I'm going to make an altar call while we pray there are people here who are not even talking about lordship like surrender of everything you need to make a genuine decision for Jesus inside outside you're listening to me online you have never truly said look I'm, I'm tired of managing my life I hand it over to Jesus there are others peradventure at a point in your life you have handed over certain aspects of your life but right now you are saying Lord I'm tired of one leg in one leg out I am determined to give you everything as we begin to pray for every other person those sets of people inside and outside clear the way for them Please, I want you to rush and make your way to the front right here. I want to pray with you. Make sure you don't sit back because God is talking to you. The remaining people, lift your voice and begin to thank God. Everyone, lift your voice and begin to thank God. Those coming for the altar call, make your way quickly. Don't think about it. He's calling you. I show you the key to safety like the act of Noah. Lord, I am tired. Tonight, I'm ready to let go everything. Make your way to the front. Every other person, lift your voice and pray. Please, as you come and stand here, be praying too. Oh Lord, have your way. Sing it one more time. Have your way, Lord. Let me show you something. Sit down. Let me show you something before we pray. John 15. If you can give it to us, John 15. Let's look at something Jesus said. John 15. Let me show you how passionate Jesus is 
in us producing results john 15 we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one to read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces result so if 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 your life does not produce result men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he say no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together 
when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david Dam, come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album oh sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. you say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we are going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i 
I hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead. Your mom is dead. From today, I become a father in this family. Simple. For starters, move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat. Look, let me tell you something. It's called quantum leap. I'm trusting that God will take us into this dimension. David, you will do a little experiment. Eh? You will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog. Ready? Now, watch. Let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap. Are you ready? This is progress. Two, three. Now, jump. This is a quantum leap. I know it's a little analogy, but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life, divine acceleration, triumph, triumph, shaka pataya, triumph by the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters, let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble You'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you. All these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment. Not to build a house for building's sake. Not to buy a car for buying a car's sake. Not to eat well for whatever it is. So that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship God for 24 hours, nobody will call you and say, why are you worshiping God? You can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible that we stand in here only because you can listen Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. 
when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying ah, ah at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because you and we're standing here only because you made a way, made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning two hundred thousand. but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone i heard of a woman seventy thousand naira every week god is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god please koinonia pray pray Take it, take it, take it, take it. Lord, I cry. Hear 
Mioko. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Listen. Listen. I want us to break out of cycles tonight. Are we together? I'm going to minister to you, but there are people here. You are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself exempt yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i'd like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying i apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood 
on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now I tell you I'm angry in my spirit Luke 18 verse 1 please quickly Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, there are people who don't need mercy, they need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it, but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance. He said, Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry, Lord, avenge. I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia pray Arise Soko Topakaya Righteousness and justice At the foundations of his throne Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against the wicked Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banish her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you 
only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges I may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root he says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying are you hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly 
when you come pastor jacks will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love lord descend upon them i ask that lord the love of god will permit the love of christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the holy ghost thank you for their lives god thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life we give you praise thank you for the holy spirit that indwells them now thank you for the holy spirit helping them to walk in your ways lord we give you praise we give you glory thank you for your glory upon them lord in the name of jesus we pray hallelujah please just look at me just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, 
a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seen in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft. 
being broken being broken being broken God is addressing issues of oppression oppression Shakataya it must end now it must come to an end now it must come to an end now lift your hands hallelujah I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay that's what God wants to deal with right now God wants to deal with it you don't need to know whether you belong to the category the fire of God will locate you right now father I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost anyone under the sound of my voice shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks whether you are a visitor whether you've been here for a long time in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave you now I command that spirit to leave you now the power of God is touching people delay, delay, delay delay you are a strange spirit I curse you by the God of heaven delay in destiny delay in achievement that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah 
you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cause that witchcraft now i cause that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i cause that spirit the spirit of hardship i cause you now i cause you now i cause you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly i want to pray for you i'm seeing a lady who is as god is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from as to ss from as to aa by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and 
for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one Ta, ba, ta, 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 ta. two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, 
I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural. Supernatural. The unction. Take it. Take it where you are. Let that fire come upon you. Upon ushers in a strange way. Upon ushers in a strange way. The grace for the miraculous. No longer will you just hold people. No longer will you just welcome people. As you clean the seats, you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why. Please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. Is a grace. Is a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go. But strange ideas, strange insight. Do you know, I'm seeing a number 4 and 1, 41. This will affect many people inside and outside. Whether you are a businessman or not, it's not what I'm asking you. That grace will locate you where you are. A grace for the marketplace. Lord, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, all the overflows, online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas Take it right now. Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances. But it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm seeing this thing 
there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me back. Come on, celebrate God in this place. Hey! Oh, Nisha, Yanu. You're the God of awesome wonder. Your power, oh, oh, yeah. Say, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Hallelujah! 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 Please, I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically. Hold them. Hold them so they don't injure people. I release the grace. You won't control yourself physically. Running speed physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now. Right now. I command you to run. Run in the spirit. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release speed. I release speed. I release speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed.
to your destiny. Speak to your life. Speak to your destiny. Words you speak, things around your arms. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that held me back. Held me back. Hey, holy. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord hey, Jimmy, please you help us hey, Jimmy will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, whether at the back, any of the overflows, I'd like you to believe God for a miracle right now. Believe God for a miracle. You can see someone like our daddy. He has come with his crutch, believing God to walk. You believe you walk, sir. You believe the Lord will heal you. So get ready to walk. You see, there are people stationed around. We are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first presentation here you cannot walk I can move with, with this walking stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. 
Hold on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start. Try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Come. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. You came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is still sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you
You are doing your work as an usher, but you have received something very strange and very powerful. You see, let me tell you something. If, if you do not, you see, hold on. Walking in the anointing is more than having it. Having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing. If not, you will be anointed, but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing. It's like a man shooting anyhow. You must have discernment. Many people think all it takes, once you can speak and someone falls, they say, I am anointed. What do you know about the anointing? The anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody. It must accomplish something. This, you need more discernment than even the anointing, the substance. The ability to look at, for instance, like these people who have been touched now. You are an anointed man of God. You are finished praying. You go to the next thing. You see, insensitivity in the spirit. This is not guesswork. If you are guessing, you will not see the results like this. It's not, it's not guessing. So please learn it. I know that this is a place where we value the anointing. And there are many of you, you are waiting for me to prophesy, release impartation after this now. It's not... It's not just about holding people. Ah, hold this lady. Hold Mukhtar's wife. An anointing is coming on her. Please hold her. Her and Mata, two of them. There is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing, I don't know why God is doing this thing. It's a strange. Hallelujah. God, God is giving two of them strange favor. Strange favor. I see strange favor strange favor Emeka God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas God is giving strange favor strange favor favor hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year this is the word of the lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when i've destined it to be this year as i speak to you the word is for you the power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined you to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a, listen, 
there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is i mean god is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations god see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone please stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost please pastor jakes come what you mean please okay he's writing something just stretch your hands here and pray and pray in the holy ghost stretch your hands and pray in the holy ghost from the depth of your heart stretch your hands stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost no leave us pray in the holy ghost stretch your hands pray in the holy ghost 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 prophesy in the holy ghost shake it to go to to get a rakata kata makata so poto so pekete miracle so god testimony so god signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it visit impossible situations i tell you god is moving i see a cloud i see a cloud over this prayer request that's what i see in the spirit god is moving upon it moving upon it moving upon it the spirit of god is moving over the prayer request visiting families releasing angels releasing angels visiting the request i'm seeing the cloud of god's presence visiting the prayer request savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever of for a salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Savior. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. 
in Jesus name we have decreed come on give Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please say to me still come Pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and Pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release I told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaskapas katapas katapas Legate to soto prateke skopari adabalaraba. A new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. And as many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. As many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter. In the name of Jesus, a new chapter. Listen. I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. 
I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command uh -uh. I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus please visit them strange visitations in the name of Jesus Christ strange visitations lift your hands please hallelujah hallelujah ah I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out listen I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family the Okalo family this is Okalo family Okalo family Okalo family Okalo family God is visiting your people all three of you step into that grace I open that door now the Okalo family step into that grace open 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 I open that door an age-long witchcraft broken over your family an age-long witchcraft broken over your family an age-long witchcraft broken over your family I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka -ta -ta -ta. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway. Benway, strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know o to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo states. Emo state, the anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota, Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to Emo state by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. 
the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi. Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands. In the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus you, you can get teachings after this but I want to prophesy on your life God is taking somebody not death though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. 
you will stand here and testify before the people of God. All the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it come to pass. I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, in one month, 30 days, I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing or not to your knowing, I pray, may God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace. Fresh fire. Outside, receive it fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Hallelujah. Wherever your prosperity is, I pray. May, listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation, looking for people and families, is, listen, it's like a graph. It rises, then sometimes it relaxes. I'm praying. Whoever calls your name, I'm prophesying this, oh, whether in the secret or the open, to invoke death upon your life, I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus, Shababa Satalakata, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection. Listen. I want to pray something that is very powerful in your life. Listen. When you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you, it's a cause. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, 
people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oda the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of god has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now Take that mantle right now. They don't have to know you, but strangers will come to feed your flock. Receive that grace for honor. Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the grave. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.